So here's a little video that uh, explains what your ball flight is and what causes it. So we're going to look at two types of players. Players who swing in to out with their swing path or players who swing out to in. So the first one is, I've got a line here, I've got a shaft on the ground and the in to out swing is the guy who comes from the inside and swings to the outside. You can see my club is actually swinging to the right side towards that side. The out to in is the guy who comes from the outside and swings to the inside. So you can see that that path is more like this. That's a more this way. Now, if I can take your attention to the notice board here, I've actually got, I've actually got that as the target line. Uh, we've got an in to out path there and we've got an out to in path here. Now let's have a look at what flights you can get with that. Now it all depends on where your club face is aiming. So let's consider the first guy here, the in to out swinger. Remember, we are assuming that you're hitting the ball off the center of the club face and there is no gear effect here, right? Now, if you're into out, there's three, three criteria. The first criteria is if the face is on the same line as the path, which means the face and path are equal, that means the ball's actually gonna start on the same line as the face and the path and the ball's gonna go straight in this line. So that means the ball started there in the same line and it went straight down that line. It did not curve right or left. Now. The other two criteria are if what if the face is here, which is right or open to the path, and what if the face is here, which is left or close to the path. Now, we're gonna take our three rules. First rule, ball always starts between the face and the path. Second, the ball starts closer to the face. And third, the ball always curves away from the path. So, in this case, the first one, the ball's gonna start closer to the face, between the face and path, and gonna curve away from the path. So the ball's actually gonna start closer to this face here and then start curving towards that side. So that's ball started right, slice is more, that's a push slice. The second one, ball starts closer to the face, curves away. So the ball's like in this case gonna start there and then curve this way. And that is more or less how a player starts the ball right and draws it back to target. So you can see target, face is slightly right, path is more right. The same criteria can be applied here to the path which is out to in. Now, in this way, the first one, what if the face is the same as the path? In this case, the ball will start exactly on this line, go straight on this line. So the ball starts left of target on this line, go straight without any curve because the face and path are equal. That's a pull to the left side. Next, what if the face is more left of this and what if the face is slightly right of this. Now in this case, apply the same three rules. Ball starts between the two, ball starts closer to the face and moves away, curves away from the path. So in this case, the ball's gonna start somewhere here and then curve here. That's a pull hook. It started left and went further left because the face is shut to the path. The last one we have today is the ball starts closer to the face again and then starts moving away from the path. That's that's a fade or a slice, but it's actually moving back towards target. In this case, you can see target, the face is between the target and, and the path, and that's how you hit your fade back to your target there. So depending on whether you're an in-to-out swinger or an out-to-in out to in swinger, you can actually have three paths, uh, three, three faces, sorry. The face can be equal to the path, it can be open to the path, and or it can be close to the path, shut to the path, and that's what gives you the resultant ball flight. Apply these and you will get that result.